بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم گائز آئی ایم ڈاکٹر جبار عمران اینڈ آئی ہوپ یو آر ول بی فائن ود دا بلیسنگز آف اللہ المائٹی اینڈ آج کی اس ویڈیو میں ہم ڈسکس کریں گے آل ایبوٹ کینیڈین میڈیکل لسنسنگ ایگزام یو نو دیر آر ٹو پارٹس ایم سی سی کیو ای پارٹ ون اینڈ ایم سی سی کیو پارٹ ٹو سو ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ڈسکس آل ایبوٹ ایم سی سی کیو ای پارٹ ون and uh, what is the eligibility criteria what is the uh, how to apply and what are the international centers and uh, how to prepare the exam what are the books and uh, it was my little effort to guide you about the canada medical licensing exam i hope you all will be, will be clear with each and everything and uh, let's come to our main topic route to canada for doctors after mbbs uh, there are two exams ایم سی سی کیو ای پارٹ ون اینڈ ایم سی سی کیو ای پارٹ ٹو سو ٹو ڈو وی ول ڈسکس ایم سی سی کیو ای پارٹ ون میڈیکل کونسل آف کینیڈا کوالیفائنگ ایگزامینیشن پارٹ ون ایم سی سی کیو ای ون دس از این ایگزام وچ مسٹ بی کمپلیٹڈ ٹو کنٹینیو ان ٹو پوسٹ گریجویٹ ٹریننگ ان کینیڈا اوور اے فل ڈے دس کمپیوٹر بیسڈ ٹیسٹ اسیسز یور نالج کلینکل اسکلس اینڈ ایٹیٹیوڈس As a medical student, you can take this exam during the final year of medical school. If you hold a complete set of U.S. licensing examinations, all steps of USMLEs, FLEX, COMLEX, or NBME, you don't need to sit any MCC examinations, including the MCC QE1 and the MCC QE2. A variety of testing centers are located within, within Canada and Also, there are many centers available internationally in the India and Pakistan and other countries. You can check this uh, international center on the Google. And next is, what is the eligibility criteria? First of all, you must have a medical student, MBBS. And uh, second is accredited institutes, good studying certificates, English tests, IELTS. And you can apply to the MCSQ part 1 as a medical student or graduate. Your medical school must be accredited by the Committee on Accreditation of Canadian Medical Schools, CACMS, or the Liaison Committee on Medical Education, LCME, in the U.S. are identified by a Canada sponsor note in the World Directory of Medical Schools. Accredited as a U.S. School of Osteopathic Medicine, When you apply your uh, physician apply CA account will guide you through the process and indicate the documents that you need to submit as a part of your application. Exam pattern and time. The MCCQ part 1 contains 2-110 multiple choice questions and 38 CDM clinical decision making cases 65 to 75 questions. The MCCQE Part 1 is a criteria reference exam. This means that those of you who meet or exceed the standard will pass the exam regardless of how well other candidates perform on it. So this is exam pattern. Examination cost. Service fee, medical counsel, MCCQE Part 1. Application fee is $1330 US dollars. MCCQ Part 1 Examination Withdraw Fee is $665 US dollars. Eligibility Window Extension Administrative Fee $99 US dollars. MCCQ Part 1 Result Recheck Fee $256 US dollars. And uh, next comes to the books. These are the books. There are many options. You can uh, read the books. You can also Uh, subscribe online subscriptions for MCQs for sample papers there are many subscriptions are available on the website you can check and uh, other option are these are the books you can see essential Canadian medical licensing exam book part one and uh, so this was uh, this was all about MCCQE part one exam And uh, I hope you all will be clear with everything. Uh, if you have any other question, you can comment in comment section. And uh, best of luck for your exam. And wait for the part two video, inshallah, within uh, two to three days.